Hey guys, Dedicated Game Dev here, and in this video, I want to go ahead and kind of show you how you can create your own header file without really going through and involving Unreal Engine for it. And this is what is commonly used to store things like custom data structures, your different enums, all that kind of stuff, just in their own little file. So that way, whenever you need them, you just kind of include that file in your class, and you're good to go. So to begin, all we're going to do here is open up our IDE, and here I have my folder that I would want to put it in. So I'm going to right click, add a new file, and I'm going to call it data types.h. Once we want to do that, let's go ahead and pragment once. And we have to include the generated version of this file that has not yet actually been created. So if you're on Visual Studio, this might, IntelliSense might throw you a little bit of a fit, but you don't really need to be too concerned with it. So let's go ahead and include. We're going to include data types.generated. H. And as you can see here in Rider, because Rider knows what it's actually doing, it's not complaining. And from here, this is where you would actually go through and create your structure or enum or whatever it is. So in this case, because I'm going to be following up with an example here shortly, is I'm going to go ahead and make a custom structure. So I want to do a uStruct. I want it to be a blueprint type so I can use it in blueprint. And we're just going to give it the name of F. Uh, let's do my custom data structure. That'll work. And add generated body. And now we want to add the properties. So in my case, I want a U property. That's going to be, let's do blueprint read write. And category, I'm going to do tutorial. And then for this, I'm going to just simply do F vector. Uh, let's see, net quantize, we'll just do net quantize and call this one location. Now I'm going to copy this and do the exact same thing. So in this case, we're going to do, yeah, same thing. Have vector, at quantize, and I'm actually going to do rotation. Eh, nah, we'll just be lazy. We're going to stick with F rotator because I feel like that'll be a lot simpler of an example. Now I close the editor down, relaunch, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, now that we're back in, let's go ahead and launch up the third person character blueprint really quick. Go to the event graph right here. And now we can actually use that class. So we have my custom data structure. Let's search for my custom data structure. So we can go ahead and make one. Here you can see it takes in a location and a rotation and it outputs a location and rotation. So this is really all that, well, you need here. And that's really all there's gonna be actually for this tutorial. So that's how you can go through and make a specific file for your data structures and, well, other stuff. But you can kind of see my point here. And in all of my plugins, you'll see I make use of this. And this is where I store basically everything that I would need. I put it in one contained file for everything that is related to it. So that way, whenever I need something from it, I can just include it and I will have it. So all my custom types, I will have them right here where I need them. So I'll see you in the next video.